Hey guys, this is Danny. Um, today I want to talk to you about using um, Drambo in AUM as a track sequencer, uh, which I've been doing quite a lot and I really like, um, mainly because it's just so good at automating um, effects and stuff like that. Um, but this video is going to end up being quite long um, because I'm going to go over the whole Drambo sequencer stuff that applies to Koala and I'll probably do that before we even get to Koala um, just so we understand it and then once um, that's all set up then I'll show you how to use that to map um, Koala if Koala isn't mapped already if it is then hopefully the knowledge will be enough for you to work with um, but let's get there when we do <laughs> let's start simple so um, basically when you open Drambo into uh, AUM as a MIDI plugin. You get eight tracks. So these are set up to set send out on channel one, two, three, four, five, MIDI channel uh, one, two, one to eight. Um, and the main page shows all of them in a row. So you can reorder them. Um, so when I get to talking about modulation and automation, you'll, the, the signal flow will become much more important. So signal constantly always flows from left to right in Drambo. Um, it's actually one of the reasons I find it so fiddly to actually use as a host uh, and why I love AUM and the way AUM um, maps uh, using its matrix. You can basically map anything to anything else. and it just makes things so much easier. So I actually prefer not to use Drambo standalone, um, but the sequencing is fantastic. So, um, right, so let's go to track one and you'll see that by default, each track has got a MIDI to CV, which converts the incoming MIDI and then a MIDI output. So you'll see it's set to channel one, two, three, four, up to eight. Um, now, what we need to do is create a CC uh, generator because you need to generate a CC value to send out to AUM. Um, now, there's two ways of doing this. You can either use the MIDI generator, which is a single uh, CC generator, and you'll see it doesn't actually have a knob or anything in order to change its values. So if you use a single CC generator like this, you actually also need to add some sort of modulator, uh, like a knob, for example. Um, so let's say knob. And then the little squiggly line here lets you, oh, that's the dog running around outside. Um, the squiggly line lets you map things um, only incoming from the left. So this is where it starts, well, this is the very beginnings of when things get a little bit confusing because if I put a knob to the right, I can't actually use the knob to the right. So just understand that the signal's flowing left to right and any modulators like LFOs um, and Drambo's got quite a few to set up. Um, uh, they all have to happen not only on the same, well, they don't have to happen on the same channel, but they have to happen on a channel that's to the left. Uh, for example, if I put a, well, let's forget that. I'll drop this knob out, <laughs> if you pardon the expression. If I put uh, track one to the right of track two, if I put, if I go to track two now here, and I add a knob in here, what am I doing? Right, so this is just a quick thing. Instead of pressing plus and going knob, and then it's in the wrong place and moving it, what you can do in Drambo is just drag slightly to the right, and then whatever you put will go in between whatever you were um, doing. So the thing is with this knob, I don't want it to send out on channel two. And in fact, a knob by itself won't send out anything. You need to have it going through a CC generator all it's doing is generating a value for the generator. But if you go to now track one, see I can map it to this knob, but also if I go to track uh, two, which is to the left of track one, 
I can also map it to this knob, um, which if I now get up a MIDI spy and go from Drambo, you'll see that now changing this knob on track two sends the CC values uh, to the generator on track one, which is to the right of track two. So the numbering is actually just the name of the track. You can change this uh, double tapping the number. And let's say this is Koala. It's going to be Koala. So um, let's move that back. You'll see that it's now broken. Um, if I go to track two and change it. Oh, in fact, so this is a weird thing about Drambo, which is extra confusing because I've found this in the past as well. If you actually move it to the left so you can map it and then map it and then move it to the right where it shouldn't actually be mappable, it continues to work. And this works with audio, but I can't guarantee that it will work with any t type of input. So it may get confusing if you just start doing this and it, it starts not working, but you'll see track two is now to the right and this knob is working but if I go back to track one I make I make it work with this knob which now makes this knob change the value if I go to track two this knob now does nothing but also if I go from here and I try to map I go to track two it doesn't allow me to map it see there's there's nothing at the bottom of this um, track so it's less confusing not to move stuff around after you've done it because if you accidentally unmap stuff it becomes really confusing to try and remap it because you then have to move the track back and change like remap this to that and then you may as well just leave it to the left anyway all that said i think using a knob and a CC generator for a single value is not all that useful. Um, so what Drambo has allowed us to do is have a CC generator multi. Uh, and basically this creates a knob that sends out a, a CC value already. It's a, it's a generator and a knob built into one. So if you double tap it, you'll see that the CC number it's sending out on is zero. If I change that to 101, then you'll see that this is now sending on channel 101. Um, and it, sorry, on, it's sending value to CC 101 on channel 1. The channel is actually um, set by the output, MIDI output module. But the nice thing about this is that we can just add multiple knobs to it. And by double tapping each one and changing it to a different value, we can quickly send different CCs that do different things. So that was pretty much part one. Um, let's move on to part two, where I'll discuss how to actually automate these things. <laughs>